we're going to find conditional probabilities. A quality control inspector checks for defective parts. Okay, here's the table. He had um, defective ones and three passed that were defective that when you buy it, it's not going to be any good. But 36 of the defective ones did fail. He threw those out. All right. Now, for the non-defective ones, 450 did pass. There was nothing wrong with them, and they passed. But 11 failed that were actually non-defective. So, he threw them out, even though they, they did work. So, let's find the probability that they passed and they were defective. Okay, so looking at this row here, 3 passed out of how many were defective. Um, and there was 36 plus 3 um, that were actually defective. So that's three out of 39. If I reduce those by dividing them by three, I get one out of 13. And if I round that off, let's see what we have here. One divided by 13 is about 0 0.077. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna make that approximately, move that decimal over twice, 7.7%. 7.7% um, passed, but were defective, okay? Now let's do the probability that it failed and it was non-defective. It failed and there was nothing wrong with it, all right? So looking at this row here, 11 failed out of the 450 plus 11. So there's 11 out of 450 plus 11 would be 461. Okay, let's see what that is. 11 divided by 461 is 0 0.0238, 0 0.24. Okay, so if I move that decimal over twice, I'm gonna get about 2.4%.